evening, everyone. Good evening, Heart to Heart, and all of our viewers all over. We bless God for you. Thank you for putting God first. And of course, being in Bible study on tonight. I'm excited. I'm excited with what the Word of God will say to us on tonight. I see so many familiar faces in the chat. I see glory to God. I see amen. I thank God for you. And I want you to know how much I love you and appreciate you. Let's get right to the word of God tonight. Before we do that, of course, let us bow for a word of prayer. Hallelujah. Father, in Jesus name, we just bless you. And we honor you tonight, God. We give you glory and we give you praise because you alone, God, all worthy of all glory and honor. And so on tonight, God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will breathe on this word, God, make it come alive for us, God, that it be to your glory and your honor, that they hear not my voice, oh God, but they hear your voice and your direction. We give you all praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Somebody put amen in the chat. Hallelujah. Go ahead and glorify the Lord right there in the chat. Go ahead and glorify him because he's worthy, worthy, worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Let's go right to the word of God in the book of Matthew. Turn with me to the book of Matthew chapter 2. Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 through 12. We are going to be reading on tonight. And for a topic on tonight, we are talking about wise men follow the light. <laughs> What a time it is. We are in the 12th month, which is the holy month of Jesus Christ. We are celebrating Jesus. I don't know what anybody else is celebrating this month, but we are celebrating our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So go ahead and give it up for God. Go ahead and put some hearts in the chat. The hearts are, listen, those red hearts are the sign of the blood of Jesus. And we thank God for him. And we are door our Lord and Savior. So go ahead, put those hearts in the chat. Um, we're going from Matthew chapter two, verses one through 12. And it reads, now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judah in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem saying, where is he that is born the king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. And when Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all of the chief priests and the scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Jesus should be born. And they said unto him in, Ju in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet. And the prophet said, and thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule the, my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. And when they had heard the king, they departed and lo, the star, somebody say the star, which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Somebody say, blessed be the, the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the word of the Lord. So for many of us, we have heard, of course, and we have read and we have studied the story of the birth of Jesus Christ. Today, we're going to focus on wise men follow the light. Somebody say wise men follow the light. Wise men follow the light because the Bible is a book 
a course that's filled with many examples of wisdom and many examples of wise people. There was Enoch and Noah. They were wise enough to walk with God in their day when the world refused their words. They were bo both saved while others were perishing. That was at the beginning of the world. People have not followed the voice of God. Hallelujah. And then, of course, there was Ruth. There was Ruth. She was wise enough to say to her Jewish mother-in-law, for wherever you go, I'll go. And forever you stay, I'll stay. And your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Somebody say that was a wise woman. That was a wise woman. And so listen, listen, listen. There was also Andrew in the Bible who was wise because he brought people to Jesus. There was David, of course. We know a man after God's own heart who said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Ah, hallelujah. I can go on and on. How he maketh me to lie down in green pastures and restores your soul. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then, of course, there was Martha. Martha, who was wise enough to entertain Jesus in her own home. Somebody say, Jesus, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome in my home. Hallelujah. We don't need padlocks when Jesus is on his way. Hallelujah. We're float throwing the door wide open for Jesus. And then, of course, there was Mary. Mary, who was wise enough to sit at Jesus' feet. We're not talking about Mary, his mother. We're talking about the other Mary who understood to worship Jesus at his feet and hear his word. And then there was, of course, the wisest man that ever lived, who was Solomon. Solomon, full of riches. Why? Rich, rich, listen. Not because he had it going on on his own. Rich because he was rich with the wisdom of God, which, of course, then brought wisdom and riches to his house. So we know that Solomon, he was also the wisest man, hallelujah, that ever walked the earth. And then there are wise men who came right here in our verse tonight. There were wise men who came to seek Jesus, hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm seeking him, I'm seeking him, I'm seeking him, I'm seeking him. Go ahead, put it in the chat. And so these are, there are still wise people today, even like there was in the Bible times. And as we travel about over these next weeks and even over these past weeks, we may have seen church signs that are re that are reason, wa reading wise men still seek him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but wise men still seek him. Somebody put it in the chat. I'm seeking him. I'm seeking him. I'm seeking him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so listen, of course, the truth is, we don't seek him sometimes uh, on our own. Listen, we seek him. Why? Because he seeks us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody put that in the chat. He's seeking me. He's seeking me. Because listen, when we respond to Jesus seeking us, listen, it makes us wise. It makes us wise. Listen, that's what the men in our text did. The Lord gave them a light. Somebody say he gave them a light and they followed it until they came face to face with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm going to put a peg right there. Listen, God has given you a light and that is his word. And you better follow it until you can come face to face with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, just as that light led those wise men to the very place that Jesus was, listen, the light of the world, his word and his promises, hallelujah, will lead you right to the place where Jesus is. Hallelujah. And so we come so we we can see some characteristics that identify truly how wise men do follow the light. Hallelujah. They follow the light. So listen, listen, the light, the light, the light. Who is the light? The light is Jesus because he is the light of the world. Somebody put that in the chat. He is my light and my salvation. Hallelujah. He is my light and my salvation. He is the light. He is the light of the world. And so John 8 and 12 says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me, meaning Jesus, this is Jesus talking. He says, will never walk in the darkness, but we'll have the light of light. Ah, somebody said, I'm never in the dark. Listen, listen, listen. If you have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you'll never be in the dark. You'll never be in the dark. He is the light of the world. Listen, you might think you're confused, but you're not confused because the wisdom of God lives in you. Hallelujah. So go ahead and put it in the chat. <laughs> I'm following the light. I'm following the light. Listen, wise men follow the light. 
Hallelujah. Wise men follow the light. So listen, 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 which brings me to our title tonight. And that is wise men follow the light. Somebody put that in the chat. Wise men follow the light. Listen, you got to see yourself as wise. You got to operate as wise. You got to pray as wise. Hallelujah. You got to worship the Lord as wise. Why? Because his spirit lives in you. And there is no greater power in your life than the spirit of God living in you. His light lives in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so listen, listen, listen. The first point I want to make tonight that I want you to get, the first point is wise men search for Jesus. Wise men search for Jesus. Listen, the phrase wise men in verse one is, is called Magi, the Magi or the Magi. And the Magi men were skilled at that time in philosophy. They were skilled in medicine. They were skilled in religion. They were book, they were nerds, right? They were book smart. They, listen, they would eat up all types of information, right? And so they were people who the kings and the queens would go to for information. They knew how to interpret dreams. Listen, they were into the natural sciences even at that time. They were soothsayers. They were persons who foresaw the future and would tell the kings and the queens and the royalty of what was to come. And they were interpreters of dreams, which are called uh, also honoronic, honor on a critic, I was trying to get the word right, but y'all get it, okay? And so it, that person that interprets dreams is someone who practices the art of mastering what do dreams mean and how to interpret dreams. And so the king inquired of these wise men, but little did he know they had been studying the prophecy for years. They had been following Listen, the astrology of the stars for years. And so here it is now. God has placed the star of David for them to follow and to lead them straight to Jesus. Somebody say, I'm going to learn all I can in the word of God so that it leads me straight to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so they were greatly interested in astrology. And so their attention was arrested when that star of David began to appear in the east. And so they said, we've got to follow the star because the prophecy said that when the star appears, that the king of Israel would come. And so now they are trying to follow the star. Somebody say, I'll follow you, Jesus, anywhere. Go ahead, put it in the chat. I'll follow you, Jesus, anywhere. And so listen, listen, listen. We don't know know for sure where exactly these wise men were, but it was known that they were in a particular uh, town, not far from where the king resided. And so listen, 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 we just know that there were wise men that were from the east. Somebody say the east, the east in verse one and two. Listen to what verse one and two says. Verse one and two says, now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judah in the days of Herod the king, somebody said that Herod was something else. Uh, whoo, I'm gonna put a peg right there. Herod was something else. He was a paranoid king. He was, uh, he would kill you in an instant. So much so that he killed half his family. Yes, he didn't trust them. He thought they wanted his position. He thought they wanted his title. But listen, listen, listen. He was the same Herod that had been killing all the male babies because he heard that Jesus was would be born. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so here it is now. These three kings came to burst his bubble. That hallelujah, they were following the star to the king of kings. Hallelujah. And so listen in verse two, it says saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and we are come to worship him. That's what the wise men are telling the king. Little did they know this king, he's off his rocker, right? He's off his rocker. He doesn't, he's like, ain't nobody taking over my kingdom. So wherever they are, I'm going to get these wise men to lead me straight to Jesus. So he had an evil plan. But in the, on the other hand, they had a glorified plan. 
They were actually going to worship God. They had been reading the prophecies. They knew that this was a moment beyond moments that had been waiting from the foundation of the world for Jesus to be born. And so reputable Bible scholars believe that they came from Mesopotamia, which was near Babylon. We know that the, the children of Israel were at one time in Babylonian captivity. And when they were in Babylonian captivity, what happened was many of them them well, began to be raised up as leaders. They were there so long. They were then treated um, well there because of their intellect, because of what they knew, because of the prophecy of the Bible. And so this is how these wise men got their information. And so if they were from that region, these men would have access to the Jewish scriptures. And that's how they found out that Jesus was to be born and that a star would appear hallelujah and so here it is the star is appearing now and they have they are on their way on a journey to search out jesus somebody say i'm searching for him i'm searching for him listen listen when you get saved it's just the beginning of finding jesus hallelujah listen we got to search the scriptures to see how he is who he is, what is his characteristics, how we should live like him, how we should love like him, how we should be like him. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I look just like him. I look just like him. I look just like him. Go ahead and put it in the chat. I look just like him. Hallelujah. 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 Who I'm getting fired up over here. So listen, listen, listen. The Jews have been taken to Babylon, Babylon, many years earlier as slaves, right? And so while they were there, like I said, the, the, uh, several of them rose to prominence. Listen, among them, believe it or not, was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Did you know that? Hallelujah. Another one that was so familiar to us, another one that rose up, we know, was Daniel. Hallelujah. And Daniel wrote plenty about the coming of the Lord during his time in Babylonian captivity. I'm going to put a peg right there because sometimes we feel like we're in captivity. We're we're in an area, in an area of our life where we can't move around, like we're enslaved in a particular area. But don't you curse your time of being pent in. Don't you curse your time of being immobile. You use that time, hallelujah, hallelujah, to learn all you can about the Lord, to worship him, to praise his name, to pray, hallelujah, and to leave your mark as a spiritual giant, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm going to use my time wisely. I'm going to use my time wisely. And so listen, listen, listen. The prophet Ezekiel, he also penned a book while living in Babylonian captivity. And so several of the Psalms that were written was written by the exiles living in Babylonian captivity. Hallelujah. Listen, 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 listen. Don't you curse the time that you're in. Hallelujah. Somebody put hallelujah in the chat. Hallelujah in the chat. So listen, as a result, these wise men would have known the prophecy in Numbers 24 and 7. The prophecy that said, there shall come a star out of Jacob and a scepter. A scepter is a rod, a, a, a symbol of a, of a shepherd, a, a symbol of authority. Hallelujah. And it shall rise up out of Israel. And that was the prophecy that they were following the star for. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. And that's Numbers 24 and 17 for those of you who are writing because this is a teaching ministry. Hallelujah. So listen, listen, listen. This teaches us that these men were on a spiritual journey. I'm going to put a peg right there. <laughs> How you doing on your spiritual journey? How are you doing on your spiritual journey? Are you searching the scriptures for Jesus? Are you searching the scriptures for the hope of the world? Are you searching the scriptures to be encouraged? Are you searching the scriptures to learn how to worship more? How to live right? How to walk right? How to talk right? How to know what your promise is all about? Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm searching for Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 So listen, listen, you've got to be on your spiritual journey. Even with all this going around us in the world, even with all the bad reports of the crime and, and people doing things against others and the racism and so many other things that are going on in the world. Listen, don't get discouraged. 
Don't get discouraged. Listen, somebody put, I'm on a spiritual journey. Listen, you got to speak that thing. I'm on a spiritual journey. I'm on a spiritual journey. I'm searching for Jesus. So listen, even as the wise men search for Jesus, we got to be searching for Jesus every day. And so listen, I have no doubt that they were moved in their spirit to go to Bethlehem, the house of bread. Hallelujah. And so listen, listen. And listen, the Bible doesn't state, but the legend says there's a legend or a story that has come down over time, right? That listen, these three men had names, and the first one's name was Casper, Mikior, and Balthar, Balthazar. <laughs> Balthazar. And so listen, Mikior was said to be an older man. He was gray haired and with a long beard. And it was said that he was the one that brought the gold. And the gold is associated with royalty. And it was a gift given to kings at that time of Christ's birth. Whenever you came before the presence of the king, you brought gold. And so the wise men's first gift of gold symbolizes Jesus' role as the king of kings. Somebody put it in the chat, the king of kings. Hallelujah. And so the wise men's first gift of gold symbolizes him as the king of kings. And Jesus' family may have used that gold on their journey back to Egypt. Egypt after they left that region. And then the second one, his name was Casper. And Casper was considered to be young and beardless, a ruddy appearance, <laughs> kind of like the uh, same characteristics that they characterized David with, that he had a ruddy a countenance, meaning he was a little rough around the edges, maybe a little muscular. And it was said that he was brought the frankincense. And so frankincense was a type of incense that was burned as a sacrifice, somebody say sacrifice, and used by the priests during services of worship and around the time of Christ's birth. That's what they did. And so the wise men's gift of frankincense symbolize Jesus's priesthood. Hallelujah. That he is the priest, the high priest. Hallelujah. And so Jesus's family may have used this gift of frankincense for practical purposes, like during prayer, they probably burned it. During worship to God, hallelujah. Or it may have been given back unto the temple of God to the priest as a sacrifice, hallelujah. And then the last, but certainly not least, there was Balthazar. Balthazar, he was considered as a dark complexioned man and that he was said to have brought the gift of myrrh. And myrrh during the time of Christ's birth, the Jews used myrrh as an embalming ointment. Okay, it was an embalming ointment when preparing bodies for burial, and this gift was prophetically sim sim ugh, signified hallelujah that Jesus was born to suffer and die for our sins. Somebody say, Thank you for the myrrh, thank you for the symbol of myrrh, because without him coming to die for our sins, where would we be? Hallelujah. Where would we be? And so I believe that Jesus's mother may have saved that myrrh and used it for Joseph's and even for Jesus's burials. Hallelujah. Because listen, it was given unto her at his birth. And how many of us mothers know? Come on, mothers, wave at me, wave at me, wave at me. Mothers know that when we get special gifts at the birth of a child, we will save it. We will put it away. It is precious. It is a precious memory of the gift that God has given unto us. Hallelujah. And I just believe in my sanctified soul that, listen, Mary kept that myrrh. Hallelujah. And when unfortunately Jesus died, unfortunately in the natural, but supernaturally, amen, in the spirit. Hallelujah. She bathed and cleansed that body. Hallelujah. At his death. Hallelujah. But we know that on the third day, he rose again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so listen, 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 listen. So we will talk about these gifts a little later in the teaching, but the Bible does not say how many wise men there were. These were just three of them that they pointed out. Hallelujah. Because it does not give us a number. Hallelujah. And so listen, there may have been few or there may have been many. But the Bible does not mention them all by name. But what matters is they were searching for Jesus 
to honor him, right? And so these men had traveled many miles to find the baby Jesus. And they had traveled through deserts. They crossed mountains. They crossed rivers. They endured hardships. They faced bandits. Yes, they still had carjackers back in that day. Listen, the bandits were the carjackers of that day. Hallelujah. They couldn't travel safe any with either, okay? So listen, listen, listen. Even back in that day, they had to beware. There's always something evil lurking, hallelujah, when we are trying to seek the Lord. And so listen, listen, listen. They were faced with bandits even along the road. And listen, for the sake of coming before the King of Kings. Now, I'm going to put a peg right there. If the wise men, they were already wise. They were already powerful within their own circles. Listen, if they understood, I've got to go and find the King of Kings and worship him and bring him gifts. Hallelujah. How much more must we do? Hallelujah. When we come to worship the King, when we come to worship the Lord, when we come to seek him, hallelujah, we would just want to let him know how much we love and appreciate him. And so listen, listen, listen. Even today, 2,000 years later, wise men still come to Jesus. John 8, 24 says, I said therefore unto you that you shall die in your sins. For if you believe not that I am he, this is Jesus talking, ye shall die in your sins. In other words, you got to believe that he is. Hallelujah. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in fact, the opposite is true. Wise men come to Jesus and fools do not. Hallelujah. Why? Because Psalms 14 and 1 says, the fool had said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt and have done abominable works, the word of God says. Hallelujah. Only a fool is going to say in his heart, there is no God. Hallelujah. And so the wisest moment in my life, the wisest moment in your life, listen, is when you come to Jesus and accept him as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Listen, 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 listen. Like many of you, he came and he opened my eyes and he opened your eyes. You remember the very moment that Jesus opened your eyes. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody put it in the chat. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for opening our eyes. Thank you for being a light in our dark world. Some of us, we were at the lowest point of our life. Some of us, we were at the lowest point, hallelujah, in our careers. Some of us, we were at the lowest point in our families, hallelujah, when Jesus shined the light for us. Come on, somebody. Thank the Lord in here tonight. And so listen, listen, listen. Just like then and like now, people who have been bitten by the serpents of the devil, hallelujah, different situations in your life, different uh, things that come up, hallelujah, it will cause us to search out Jesus, hallelujah. And so listen, one of some of the greatest days in your life was when God shined the light in your life. Either, either he shines a light on your situation, he shines the light, listen, listen, on your dark day. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to say thank you, Lord, tonight. Hallelujah. And so listen, 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 whether you respond to it or not, the greatest truth of your life or that you will hear it was when Jesus died for our sins. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He came. He came here knowing that he came to die. I don't know anybody in their human flesh. Who could endure that? Who could endure knowing that I was born to die? And I was born not only to die, but I was born to die for other people. That I didn't do anything wrong. That nothing, I did not do anything wrong in and of myself. But I come to die that their sins be washed away. Hallelujah. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So listen, listen, listen. The second thing I want you to see. The first thing was wise men search for him. The second thing is wise men adore him. Hallelujah. Let's look at verse two and verse 11. Okay. Verse two says, saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and we are come to worship him. 
right? And look down at verse 11. Verse 11 says, and when they were coming to the house, they have now found the baby Jesus. They have traveled afar to see him. And now they've come into the house and they saw the young child with Mary, his mother. And what does it say? It says, and they fell down and worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasures, the gold and the frankincense and the myrrh, hallelujah, they presented him with gifts of frankincense and myrrh and gold, hallelujah. And so the wise men came to adore him. Somebody put it in the chat. Lord, I adore you. Lord, I adore you. Lord, I love you and I adore you. Just go ahead and take a worship break right now and put in the chat hallelujah worship the lord right now right there in the chat and so the wise men tell king herod in verse two that they desire to find him and then when they found him hallelujah they couldn't help but just bow down the glory that should have been in that house oh my god i can't i can only imagine lord the glory that was in that house at that time can you imagine the glory of the king of kings inside that house? Hallelujah. And so isn't it amazing that these heathen astrologers, because remember, they were not Jews. These heathen astrologers had enough insight to recognize the glory of the one they found. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I adore you, God. I adore you, God. I just adore you, God. And so listen, in our society, the wisest among us are not the scholars. The wisest among us are not the scientists. The wisest among us are not the leaders of our nation, but the wisest people of our society of those who understand that we must worship and adore God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody put it in the chat. She's talking about me. <laughs> She's talking about me. She's talking about me. I am that wise person. I am that wise man. I am that wise woman. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I worship you, God, and I adore you, God, and there's none like you in all the earth. Somebody put some crowns in the chat for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Lord, we worship you tonight. We worship you tonight because listen, one of the greatest gifts and one of the most sacred duties of a Christian is to perform worship unto the Lord. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody say, I'm a worshiper. I'm a worshiper. Listen, if you adore the Lord, if you just bow before him, you just reverence his name. Hallelujah. If someone just say Jesus, you just have to reverence his name. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord, and I adore you. And so if we would just stop and take a brief inventory, we will find so many reasons to worship God. I want you to just stop for one moment right now and just think of the goodness of God in your life. Just think of his goodness and how he's protected you and how he's kept you and how he's healed you and how he's protected you through danger seen and unseen and how he's taken all your fears away and replaced it with hope. Hallelujah. And how he has just strengthened you in your darkest hour. Hallelujah. Somebody put in the chat, I worship you, God. I worship you. If you just think about what he's done in your life, if he, you just think about the promises he has already brought forth in your life, if you think about, listen, 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 all of the things that he's done and all of the ways that he's made and how we're still in this 12th month of COVID-19 yet I'm going into a whole nother year. Mark, hallelujah. And how he's kept us safe. Hallelujah. Listen, we can't help but adore our God. We cannot help but adore our King of Kings and our Lord of Lords. Listen, Psalm 126 and 3 says, the Lord has done great things for us and we are glad. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody put in the chat, we are glad. We are glad. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. I just want to remind you today that Jesus is worthy of your praise. He's worthy of your worship. And he deserves all the love that we show him. We, he deserves our devotion. He deserves our praise. He deserves the words that come forth out of our mouth. Just say, tell the Lord, 
thank you, God. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my children. Thank you for how it is, God. You never left me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Somebody just put thank you, Lord, in the chat. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. And so listen, listen, listen. John 4 and 23. John 4 and 23. Turn to John 4 and 23. It says, but a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For what? For the Father is seeking such as these to worship him. Somebody say, I am a worshiper. Hallelujah. 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 Wise people know they owe everything to God. The wise people know that we can, we are nothing. We are nothing but filthy rags, but he is everything to us. Hallelujah. And so we lift him up tonight. We lift you up tonight, God. We praise your name tonight. And so listen, listen, listen. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Go ahead, put it in the chat. I'm not ashamed. I am not ashamed. You cannot be a worshiper and be ashamed of your God. Hallelujah. So the first point I wanted you to know is that wise men search for him. The second thing I wanted you to know, wise men adore him. But thirdly, and my last point, hallelujah, is wise men worship him. Wise men worship him. When they came to the house, they couldn't even, whoo, the glory of God. They had to fall to their knees. They had to fall to their knees. Look at verse 11. And it says, and when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother. And all they could do was fall down. Can you imagine? Now, we're not talking about the, the grown Jesus, the man Jesus. We're talking about a child. We're talking about a child. Jesus came to the earth with glory, the glory of God all over him. Why? Because he was God in the flesh. Hallelujah. He is God in the flesh. And so they worship him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented him with gifts. So when these wise men came before the Lord Jesus, they came and with their gifts in their hand. Somebody say, I got it in my hand. I got it in my hand. You know, this is the thing. This is the thing. I know, I know we all, we, we have so many celebrations where we're bringing gifts when it's a housewarming gift right? We get, we're bringing gifts when it's birthday. We're bringing gifts if it's, you know, whatever holiday it is, right? We're bringing gifts. We're bringing gifts if it's just a little get together. Somebody say, my mom always taught me to bring something, huh? 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 Hello, somebody. If that was you, put a one in the chat. Your mama said, don't you go to somebody's house and don't bring something when they have it, right? So listen, so it was then. You don't go into the presence of a king. You don't go before someone without a gift, especially Jesus. And so they understood that they had to travel with that heavy gold. How many people know gold is very heavy? And they didn't go with just a gold chain like I got it on. They not, no, 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 no. Back then, they gave some big time gifts, okay? Okay, and so listen, the gifts they gave him were significant, right? Remember, I started off talking about the gifts and what they stand for. So the gold was also presented to him that it was a sign or to signify that he was a ruler, that he was the king, that he was a monarch, that he was a sovereign leader. All of that is what they ascribed to Jesus. Hallelujah. And so in some countries, no one could ever even approach a king without a gift. And it couldn't be something they say, oh, let me hold 20. I'm going to give it to him. No, you couldn't do that. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes, it had to be your own sacrifice. Hallelujah. It had to be something that you sacrifice to bring before the king. Okay. And so listen, listen, listen. The wise men brought him gold. 
And so this gift acknowledges him to be the king. And since we can never meet Jesus on an equal footing because he is the king of kings and he is the Lord of lords, we should always bow in submission before the Lord and acknowledge him as the king of kings. Acknowledge him as the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody put it in the chat. You are Lord. Hallelujah. You are Lord. Hallelujah. I know we get so caught up in our modern day, you know, ways of worship. We get so caught up and, you know, right now it's so relaxed for the body of Christ. But listen, no, nothing ever relaxed when it comes to honoring our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nothing ever relaxes. Hallelujah. When we realize who he is and whose we are. Hallelujah. And so listen, 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 these wise men understood that. So they did just that. They brought their gifts. They brought a fitting gift. They brought a foretelling gift. Listen, 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 because they understood the rule and the reign of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so on tonight, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you're getting ignited a fresh fire for the reverence of God, that you're getting ignited a fresh fire and reverence for his worship, a fresh fire and a reverence for giving unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so listen, 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 the frankincense that was presented, I told you it was a sign of his priesthood of him being the royal priest hallelujah which get, makes us the royal priesthood hallelujah he is the father we are his children he is the priest and we are the priesthood hallelujah hallelujah so listen 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 if you study the word frankincense you will discover that it was a priestly gift it was used in the worship at the temple and when sacrifices were offered to God. And so the frankincense, they would light it and it would, it would, it would burn. And then the fresh aroma would go up before the Lord as a sacrifice. And so the frankincense was also of a gummy substance. It was gummy. And so it came from a certain specific species of a tree. And it was the sap of that tree that was the frankincense. Amen. And so it released a sweet smelling fragrance. Hallelujah. And for some of us who are into the oils, the essential oils and all of these different things, you actually can get uh, different oils that smell like the frankincense. Or uh, if you're really, uh, really, really lucky or blessed, you can actually get the 100% frankincense oil, even to today. Hallelujah. And so the book of Hebrews tells us that his priesthood would be permanent in Hebrews 7 and 17. I'm not going to go there for the sake of time, but for those of you who are writing, Hebrews 7, 17 is where it is indicated that his priesthood is permanent. Hallelujah. So not only is his priesthood permanent, but he would be powerful. Hallelujah. Hebrews 9, 11 and 14 tells us that. And so here it is with the myrrh. Here it is with the myrrh. The myrrh presents Jesus as our propitiation of sin. Hallelujah. The myrrh, the myrrh is the substance that was used to embalm dead bodies. It was signifying that he came to die. Hallelujah. Somebody put it in the chat. Thank you, Lord, for your sacrifice. Listen, if you just sit and think about the sacrifice that he made, that we might have eternal life. Mm, 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 mm. What a sacrifice. I don't know. I don't know where I would be without the sacrifice of God, without the sacrifice of Jesus. God sent his son to the earth in the flesh hallelujah, to die. So even as a young boy, these wise men came with myrrh. As a young boy, he already knew. As a baby, it was already signified, hallelujah, that he would die for our sins. Thank you. I see thank you, Jesus, all over the place. I see thank you, Jesus, all over the place. And so listen, I read a story. Listen, listen to this story. I read a story about a fire in Liverpool, Liverpool, England, and the house that caught fire was called the sailor's home. And it was a place that sailors would often stay. And people began to assemble and notice in the upper stories that men were crying for help and someone rushed to get a ladder. And when it was raised, it was found that the ladder was too short to reach the men in this burning building. Okay. And so a sailor in the crowd rushed up 
with the ladder and he balanced himself on the uppermost part round of the ladder so that his body would reach the window. So the ladder was too short to get to the window. So he took his own body and he placed it against the wall of the building and raised his hands so that he would be the last rungs of the ladder. And as he did this, he shouted to the men inside and he said, quick, scramble over my body and down the ladder. And one by one, the men came down until they were all saved. And finally, the sailor came down. His face was burned. His hair was singed. His fingers were blistered, but he had saved the men in the burning building. And I want you to know the ladder raised by the fishermen had gone a long way, but the men could not be saved unless that one sailor decided to risk his life to save them and get them out of the burning building. And that's what Jesus did for us when he came to the earth. He filled the gap. He filled the gap between God and us that we might reach God with his body, with his sacrifice. He, the same thing the Savior did for his friends. That's why he calls us friends. Hallelujah. He saved us. He placed his body as the last rung in the ladder for us. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And so now we might not have gold. We might not have frankincense. We might not even have myrrh to give to the king. But I want to ask you tonight, what do you have? What do you have to present to the king? Are you still seeking him? Are you still adoring him? Are you still worshiping the Lord? Hallelujah. It's time to give God the glory due his name. Hallelujah. We started out, we started out with the wise men seeking him. But listen, it matters what happens when you find him. Don't allow your light to go out. Allow yourself to follow the light of the world, Jesus Christ, and worship and adore him and give him the glory that's due his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to bring back Pastor Minor. He is going to pray for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory Pastor. to God. Wise men. Hallelujah. Wise men follow. Wise men follow the light. Hallelujah. They search for him. They adore him, hallelujah, and they worship him. Right where you are, if you would, just close your eyes, bow your heads. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, tonight in Jesus' name, how we love you tonight, how we honor you, and how we praise you, how we bless you, O oh God, for your word, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us of the wisdom, O oh Lord, now that you've deposited into each and every one of us that we might, O oh Lord, now follow the light. We thank you for your word, O oh Lord, for the Bible teaches us that the entrance of your word, O oh God, now gives light. It's a lamp unto our feet and a light into our path, O oh Lord. And with all that's in us, God, now we're purposing to follow the light. Thank you, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name for reminding us, O oh Lord, for the reason of this season. We bless you for how you came from heaven and to earth. Show us the way, O oh Lord. We give you glory now. We give you honor now. God, and we give you praise. For great is our God. Greatly to be praised. In the rising of the sun to the going down of the same all day long, Father, now your name is worthy. And we just bless you, God, for the connection. We thank you for the divine connection, O oh God. Now the wonderful privilege, O oh God, to be called children of the Most High God. Thank you, Lord, for how you've ordained us to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. We give you glory now, God. We give you honor and we give you praise. We say, right on, King Jesus. Rule and reign. 
We love you, sir. We honor you and we praise you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Come on, somebody shout glory. Put it in the chat. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, light the chat up. Let me see some hearts. Amen. Let me see some thumbs up. Amen. Hallelujah. As we prepare. Amen. Hallelujah. After a word like this, amen. As we prepare now, brothers and sisters, to worship the Lord. In and through, amen, in and through our giving on tonight, amen, hallelujah, we adore him, amen, we search for him, amen, hallelujah, Elder Alexander Walker Parker said, what's in thine hand, hallelujah, we got something in our hand in order to worship him with, amen, on tonight, amen, we bless God for the opportunity to worship the Lord, amen, in and through, amen, in and through our giving, hallelujah, somebody once again, Shout glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We're preparing now. Amen. On tonight. Amen. And once again, bless God for Pastor Sean. Amen. Thank God for her wisdom on tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. God knows I really needed to uh to sit out tonight. Amen. And really need to push myself. Amen. On tonight. So we bless God for her on tonight. Amen. For those of you, amen, that understand the importance, amen. Hallelujah. Of sowing. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask you now, amen, that you prepare, amen, to worship the Lord, amen, in and through your giving. Hallelujah. You want to text give, amen. Text the word give to 985 If you were blessed on tonight, amen, I'm going to ask you to sow. Hallelujah. Text the word give, 985 uh, Use our title app, amen. If, you, if tonight's your night to tithe, we encourage you, amen, to do so. Amen. Even as you're preparing now to worship the Lord in and through your giving, amen. Would you allow me, amen, to just pray over our seeds on tonight, even as we prepare now to give. Father, in Jesus' name, God, I stand on your word. You said that you give seed the source. You said you give bread for food and you multiply the seed that's on. Now, I bless you that you're not a man that you should lie, nor are you the son of man that you should repent. I thank you, God, now for the sower, the seed, and the soil. And I pray, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name, that God, even as we sow with expectation, O oh God, now, a favorable change, O oh Lord, I pray that you would either give us back money, something money cannot buy, O oh Lord, increase our peace and our joy on tonight, temperance, meekness, O oh Lord, now self-control. We bless you, God, tonight, and we give you glory. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless you, Pastor Sean. Amen. We thank you, amen, for standing in uh, standing in the gap. Amen. On tonight, I'm going to uh, continue to solicit your prayers. Amen. As I continue, amen, my, uh, my recovery. Amen. On tonight, listen, looking forward to this weekend. Amen. I am looking forward to what the Lord certainly is going to do in church school. 11 a.m. right there on Zoom, and then, amen, and our 10 a.m. worship experience, amen. God has truly been showing up, and he's truly been meeting us, amen, been favoring us, amen, with his presence, amen, in the sanctuary. So I look forward, I'm certainly looking forward to seeing each and every one of you, amen, in your places, amen, on this Sunday, amen, as we observe, amen, for the 12th time this year, hallelujah, holy communion, amen. Going to encourage you, amen, bring your elements, Amen. Hallelujah. Bring your elements. Amen. And your expectation. Hallelujah. Expecting the Lord to meet us all at our point of need. Amen. I trust and believe now. Amen. Listen, you've enjoyed the teaching on tonight. Amen. Listen, because wise men, hear me, wise men, brothers and sisters, wise men follow, wise men follow the light. We love you on tonight. Amen. Looking forward, amen, to seeing you this weekend. Amen. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Hallelujah. And we'll see you soon. Amen. Go in peace now. Hallelujah. Bye now. Be blessed.